Hi, my name's Adam Erickson. I'm the education coordinator at the Raven Foundation. And this is my good friend, Trip Hudgens. Trip is a board member at the Raven Foundation. And a couple uh, months ago, Trip and I got together and we were thinking about what would be one of the most challenging books or letters of the Bible to have a five-part session on. And we came up with Revelation, why not? Because that's what you do. It's it's all over the media right now, not just Revelation, but the sense of the apocalypse, the movie 2012 being perhaps the most well-known example of how we're talking about it culturally. The movie Legion comes to mind, too. Um, but we wanted to try to do something different, so um, we came up with our own little title, uh, From Left Behind to the Healing of the Nations. So we chose the title, Left Behind to the Healing of the Nations. Um, you're familiar with uh, the books left behind. It's a series of 12 books that are basically trying to understand what a revelation would mean in a modern context. And basically it's about escaping the world. So you're being raptured up into the heavens if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, and you're escaping the sufferings of the world. Well that's not what the letter of Revelation is about. Revelation is about being in the world and suffering through what's going on and also having the patience to endure this and being a different kind of community, a community that doesn't participate in the suffering that's inflicted by other humans. And that leads to the healing of the nation. So Revelation is about this revelation from God that's showing a different way of life. Now, the, the, there are, of course, a couple challenges. Um, it's just, in one sense, to um, rescue the letter by John of Patmos from our ongoing desire to not just make it relevant, but to make it truly about now, that somehow it's always predicting the present contemporary moment. But what it really is, is a specific letter to a specific people in a specific time. It has a lot to teach us, but it's not actually um, a first century version of Nostradamus. John of Patmos is not that. John is in exile on the island of Patmos. He's a Christian. It's um, late first century. And he's gotten in a lot of trouble with the Roman authorities for preaching the gospel, for doing the things that Christians do. Um, at this time, there's some inconclusive evidence and some inconclusive justice about exactly what you do with a Christian when you find one. Um, persecution is starting to arise. Some are being killed, uh, but many are simply being exiled, like John. He has this vision, and he has to find a way to, to explain to the churches exactly what this vision is about, because really the vision and the, the essence of this letter is to say, you have two choices. You can either choose Jesus or you can choose the empire. I'm going to suggest to you in the next 22 chapters that you choose Jesus. That's what's going on. Yeah, and the choice of Jesus may bring a lot of suffering yes, to you. Yes. Which and, you will have to endure. And that's and that's exactly right. It's it's not simply something you can leave alone. It's it's you know not something you can escape. Right? You can't be lukewarm. Right. And he talks about that. Yeah. He talks about church that is lukewarm about its way of being Jesus and other churches that take on, if you will, the window dressing of the empire and how that's not really an option. It's an incredibly challenging letter and it's not something that you can just sort of sift through easily. Well, I love what you said about Jesus or Caesar because during this time Caesar wanted to be proclaimed as Lord and what gets the early Christians in trouble is they say, no, Jesus is Lord. Exactly. And this is what like you get this in the first like 15 verses yeah. of the book and that's what the essence of what the book is trying yeah, to do. Yeah, and at. from there and on he's just spinning that same thing over and over again. We've had one course so far, one class gathering. We met two nights ago. We're going to meet again tonight. The first class we did talk just about this basic outline. We read the first chapter, the 13th chapter, which is a really interesting one. Take some time and read that. And then the 22nd chapter just to get everyone's feedback, a, a sense of what it is. Tonight we're going to talk um, about these first three chapters. Who is this letter really addressed to? Who are the churches? And how can we better get to know them? And ask ourselves the honest question, are we like the churches that John is so frustrated with?
Uh, Tripp and I will be reflecting on uh, tonight's session uh, in the next couple days, so I uh, hope you join us. Take care. See you.